A firewall is a specific wall that you would like to sometimes draft yourself. You just would like to change the shape of this wall. By default, the wall shape is, is defined by its length and its height. But when I select this, let's just use the same command again. I right click here and I say, okay, show on floor plan. This is the one here. Let's just enlarge that. Uh, so th this is the wall. We are looking at from, uh, in the 3D, we are looking from the top direction actually. Now, if I click on one of the sides of the wall, it's important that as you can see, there is a dashed line telling me which side I was clicking on. And if I, if I knew that, uh, that I would like to change this side, then I'm, I'm, I'm correct. In that case, I go here and I say, okay, change the profile and, and add the whole frontal profile yes. to this uh, originally rectangular shape. And then let's just change it in a way it looks like this. I and see. then so now you redraw how it how it should look like from from the side. And again here again you can use values you can type values if you if you measured it from your model you can actually use the projection of the elevation as as a drawing behind this and you can draft it that way. But the point here is that from this point on the software changed the height of this uh, wall. I see. I mean, the change the shape of this wall in a way that I have designed it. The software will always keep the part within the closed loop that I have created, like within the counter. There's actually uh, two, two <coughs> other scenarios I want to show regarding the profiling. One is that how you can profile individual wall uh, layers. Yeah. But maybe before that, you want to show us how you can profile the, uh, the walls that are actually supporting terrain. Okay. Maybe you have the same uh, file for that. Yeah, actually, uh, this, this project that I'm loading now is a, is a latest stage of this building already having this uh, firewall here. It's uh, appearing uh, right up here. So that's it. Yeah, uh, so that's what we have just been working And on. we have a supportive wall here. There, there's actually a, a terrain, a large terrain here, and it's supporting that uh, uh, from uh, breaking into the <laughs> rooms. And actually, this have uh, you know, uh, several layers as well. So answering the first question, your first question was, how you can set up a supporting wall against the um, terrain. Maybe it's a bit slanted or maybe it's, it's not Sometimes it's not, not just a regular wall with a vertical shape, but it's sometimes it's slanted or it, it has a different, uh, it, 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 it has a changing width uh, when we see from the cross section. So um, let me just show you with a, with a simple example here. Here I will create a simple wall with, a, with one single layer so uh, the layers won't confuse us and just say, okay, this should be, again, very simple wall uh, from here to here. And that's appearing just actually behind it. Yeah, it's oh, no, here, it's, in front. It, it's here. So um, how can I do that? First things first, if I click on it and I go to the settings, I can say, okay, this um, wall is uh, having uh, an, an angle, which is here, a slant angle. Now this angle is the, 90 degrees means, again, it's measured from the floor, mm -hmm. it's 90 degrees. If I change it to, I don't know, 80, then it will be oh, like see that. Oh, I that it's slanted now. So I just undo and redo so you will see the changes here at the right hand side. So this, this is what happens. Okay, what if one side is slanted and the other one is vertical? Well, in that case, I just designed the vertical wall and then I click on the wall itself, I click here and at the edge here, I say, okay, this should be something with a profile, but in this case, uh, I should change the section profile. Now, the section profile looks pretty similar to the other one, just it's, you know, the different shape. And then you say that this is something like this here. So when I close it, the software will create it and you will see this is, this is see. how it looks like. So it was this before and now it's this, this after that.